the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 162 1 Kings 18-19 The secret behind the battle on Mount Carmel. Although no Israel witnessed that God was alive on Mount Carmel, foolishly they did not turn to God. First point. When drought continued in North Israel for three years, Elijah and Ahab had a debate. When the drought in North Israel continued for three years, Ahab went with his servant Obadiah to find some water. Obadiah was in charge of the palace and was Ahab's servant, but from his youth, Obadiah had obeyed God and secretly hid a hundred prophets from Jezebel. Whilst Ahab was on the hunt for some water with Obadiah, Elijah told through Obadiah that he wished to meet with Ahab. Through Obadiah, Ahab and Elijah were able to meet and immediately they started a debate. The topic of the debate was that the reason of the drought was because of the other party. Ahab claimed that the drought was because of Elijah, and Elijah claimed that the drought was because of the sins of him and his father. Their debate led to the debate on Mount Carmel. Elijah proposed that Ahab bring his people as witnesses and that the God who sent down fire would be the ultimate God. The reason Elijah mentioned the 450 Baal prophets and the 400 Asherah prophets was to show just how bad idol worship had become in North Israel. Second point, Elijah proposed the first battle on Mount Carmel by using the method of Aaron's first offering. The method proposed by Elijah was that each brought a calf and that they waited for fire to burn it. The first offering to be burnt would show who the real God was. Miracles were used by God through prophets as a last resort to show the people when they really did not care to believe or listen. The first part of the battle at Mount Carmel saw the prophets of the Baals being knocked down. For the second part of the battle, the prayer of Elijah started. The method Elijah proposed traced back to Aaron's first offering with God's fire consuming the offering. Of course, no fire came from Baal and Asherah. And as for Elijah, God sent a fire, which not only burnt the offering, but also burnt all the water that had been purposely poured. All those who were present bowed down in shock. The people started to say, Elijah, Elijah. At that moment, Elijah made the people kill the 450 prophets of the Baals. Elijah moreover prayed to God for the drought to come to an end. Third point, Jezebel sent assassins to attack Elijah. When Jezebel found out about the results on Mount Carmel, and that the 450 prophets of the Baals she sent were killed, she publicly announced the killing of Elijah and sent assassins. When Elijah heard this, he turned back from his way to Samaria and had to run away from the assassins. He reached Beersheba, and as he rested, he asked God to end his life. 
The reason Elida wished for death was because Jezebel had not even flinched at the result on Mount Carmel. But God sent an angel to Elijah and gave him new strength. Fourth point, Moses had to run away from Pharaoh, and Elijah had to run away from the assassins of Jezebel. God lifted Elijah and made him travel the desert for 40 days in order to escape from Jezebel's assassins. And then God met with Elijah on Mount Horeb. God met with many others in the Bible. To list a few examples, God met with Moses. He also met with the Israelites on Mount Sinai. God also met with Moses on Mount Sinai. God also spoke to Jesus when he was being baptized. God also met with Saint John in Patmos. Fifth point, Elijah along with Elisha and 7,000 others were given the mission of a kingdom of priests on Mount Horeb. Elijah shouted to God on Mount Horeb that he was the only one left. So God told him that there were 7,000 of God's people left, as well as Elisha to carry on God's work. God did not give up on the people and continuously sent them prophets. God planned a new generation through Hazael, Jehu, and Elisha. This is enclosed by Elijah passing on his ministry to Elisha. I am so excited that you have in your hands now and on your phones the Hong Doc Bible app. And let me tell you why. Very few people, just a handful of people in the world understand the way Dr. Zhou does, the way that this is one story from Genesis to Revelation, one story. And what does it mean for us to daily live that story as our life story? And he has found a way to do this. We need daily marinating of our mind and the soaking of our spirit in, in the Word of God. And that's why a, a, a Tong Doc Bible is so important. The scriptures, the story, Genesis to Revelation, is the daily mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathings of the Spirit of God into humans to make us truly who God made us to be. And that's why this app is so important. This app shows you how to do mouth, that God, enables God to do mouth to mouth resuscitation on you every day of your life, 365 days a year. I'm so glad you have it. You will feel that healing that comes from mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathings of the Spirit on you as you use this app.